Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on matrix computation and application. So in the previous lecture we have started with the linear transformations. So now in this lecture we will continue with that one. So in the previous lecture we have started with the linear transformation that suppose I have a vector space u and another vector space v. So I define a transformation t from u to v and this transformation t is a transformation transformation from u to v and if it satisfy the condition that t of u1 plus u2 is equal to t of u1 plus t of u2 and t of alpha u that becomes alpha t u where u1 and where u1 and u2 belongs to u. So, it is true for all u and u2 and this is also true for all u belongs to u and alpha belongs to the scalar field f. So, this transformation is called the linear transformation if it satisfies these conditions. Now, we want to use some properties or maybe I call it theorem that let I have a transformation from u to v. So, suppose be a linear transformation if so then first one I want to show that t of the 0 element in the u that will map to 0 element in the v. The second one is t of minus u that will be equal to minus of t u and the third one is that if I take the transformation of the linear combination. So, suppose I have a alpha 1 u 1 plus alpha 2 u 2 plus alpha n u n that will be equal to alpha 1 t of u 1 plus alpha t of u 2 up to alpha n t of u n. So, these are the three uh, results about the transformation. Now, we can prove very easily all this one. So, prove. So, the first one is that now in this case you can check that this I have written O v means this is the 0 element of vector space v and this is the 0 element or maybe I can write that 0 element of vector space u. So, now from here we know that, so we know that, that for any u belongs to u, if I put u plus 0 of u that equal to u. Now, if I take the transformation u plus 0 of u then by the property of linear transformation it will be equal to t of u plus t of 0 u and now this can be written as now since u plus 0 of u that is equal to u which implies that. So, now from the from this one left hand side will become t of u 
plus O u that becomes T of u. So, now I can write from here that T of u plus O u I can write. So, maybe I can give this as a equation number 1. Now, from equation 1 we can write T of u on the left hand side and right side is already T u this one. And now from here I can write my T of O u that is equal to T of u minus T of u. And now T of u is in the V and minus T u is also in the V that is just the the inverse additive inverse of T u. So, then it will be equal to 0 of V. So, from here we, we can say that T of 0 of u that maps to 0 in V this one. Okay. So, from here the, the thing is that suppose we have a transformation from maybe I will call it uh, V 3 to maybe V 2 then it is understood from here that T of 0, 0, 0 because 0, 0, 0 is the 0 of V 3. So, this element you can call it 0 of V 3 and this will be equal to 0, 0 and this is 0 in V 2. So, by this one this is always true that 0 element of the space U will map into the 0 element in the uh, space P. So, this is the first one. So, the second one is now we know that that T of minus u. So, I want to prove this one. So, let us say that I will take T of alpha u that is alpha T u and alpha is coming from the field. So, in the field now if I take choose alpha is equal to minus 1 because 1 is there in the field. So, it is additive inverse minus will definitely will be in the in the field. So, in the given field. So, from here we can have that T of minus u then it can be written as T of u and this is true for all element of u. And the third one is we can prove so, we can prove as like I have a some linear combination. So, what I am going to do is that. So, let we have a u 1, u 2, u n all belongs to u. Then, then the linear combination of u 1, u 2, u n will be like alpha 1, u 1, alpha 2, u 2 and alpha n u n and this is also belongs to u that we already know. So, now what I do is that, so this is the one, so I can write this as T of alpha 1 u 1 alpha 2 u 2 alpha n u n. So, this one I can write I can choose this part as some u because th this is also linear combination of u 2 u 2 up to u n and from here I can write this as a T of alpha 1 u 1 plus u and this one is I can write from the property of the linear transformation this can be written as alpha 1 T of u 1 plus T of u and then T of u can further be written in this form and from here I can write now T u can further be written 
as T of u will be equal to T of alpha 2 u 2 up to alpha n u n. So, I can write this as again alpha 2 T of u 2 plus the remaining the next part this one I can call it may be u dash. So, it will be equal to T of u dash and similarly I can go and from here going using the same argument we can write that T of alpha 1 u 1 plus alpha 2 u 2 up to alpha n u n that will be equal to alpha 1 T of u 1 plus alpha t 2 T of u 2 and alpha n T of u n. So, the same alpha is are working here in here also and here also. So, this is the linear combination. So, this is a linear combination in u and you can check from here that this is a linear combination in v. <coughs> so, alphas are the same and these things are different. So, that is the it means that the linear transformation of the linear combination u that is equal to the linear combination in v and the alpha is the the coordinates will be same. So, this thing is we can prove from here. Now, so after doing this one, so now what I what is we need to do is that, so the next thing is that question is how to write a linear transformation. say from vector space u to the vector space v. So, the question is that how I can write the linear transformation. Now, because since because I want to find the linear transformation t from u to v this one I want to find it means and my t is that for any u belongs to u t of u should belongs to v. So, it means I for finding the linear transformation I need to find the value of that transformation for each u belongs to u and it means and we already know that u is a vector space. So, if it is u is a vector space it is going to have an infinite number of points. So, it is not possible for us to find the, uh, the image of each member of the vector space u. So, how we can find the linear transformation from one vector space to the another vector space. So, these things we need to find out. So, this, uh, this is possible if we talk about the basis because we know that suppose I have a vector space u and that is uh, n, nth dimension n dimensional. So, u is suppose n dimensional then suppose I have a basis u 1 u 2 up to u n. So, this set is the basis is a basis of vector space u. Now, from here we know that that for any u belongs to u I can write u as some linear combination alpha 1 may be u 1 plus alpha 2 u 2 up to alpha n u n. And since this is a basis, so if it is a basis then it is L i. So, from here we know that this alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n are unique. So, I can find the system of equation and that system of equation is going to have a unique solution because u 1, u 2 
u n are linearly independent. So, this representation will be unique. Now, so it is any u, so u belongs to u. So, this is true for any u. Now, I can if I am able to find the t of u, then we are done. So, t of u we can find out. So, how we can find of uh, define the t of u? So, that we uh, do with the theorem. So, let us write one important theorem for the definition you can write. So, a, a linear transformation a linear transformation T is completely determined by its values on the on the elements or vectors of a basis. So, it is completely determined by its value on the elements or the vectors of a basis. So, basis of T basically, basis of U. So, how you will define that one? So, I can write that precisely If suppose I have a B is a set of vectors u1, u2 up to un. So, I am defining the linear transformation T. So, T may be you can define from u to v. So, let I take the set B. So, is the basis is a basis for the vector space u. Now, there exist now let the vectors v 1, v 2 up to v n that belongs to the vector space v. Then, then there exist a unique linear transformation there exists a unique linear transformation T from U to V such that T of U i is equal to V i and this is true for all i 1, 2, 3 up to n. So, from here we can say that I, I have taken a basis of the vector space u and suppose there exists some vectors v 1, v 2, v n, n number of vector that belongs to v. Then I can find a unique linear transformation from T u to T v uh, from u to v as T u i is equal to v i. It means I from here you can see that we are able to find the image image of each each vector in in the basis so if we are able to find the image of the each element in the basis then we are able to find the linear transformation so this thing uh, is so this theorem is gives you that how we can find out the linear transformation now so this proof is very simple that now i have a basis b is equal to the basis u1 u2 up to un so this is the basis of vector space u and suppose it is a basis it means that the dimension of u is n that we already know 
uh, it is a basis means it spans uh, u and they are linearly independent. Now, for any u belongs to the space vector space u, I can write u as alpha 1 u 1 plus alpha 2 u 2 alpha n u n. So, first I define that how we can find out the linear transformation. So, I this I can write like this one. So, maybe I call it 1. Now, since u 1, u 2, u n are so this is a basis or all are linearly independent which implies that alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n this set of uh, or coordinates. So, this is a coordinate vectors coordinates and this this vector I call it coordinate vector. So, this coordinate vector is unique means this system is not going to have a infinite many solution it is going to have a unique solution because it is a linearly independent. So, I know that the rank will be equal to the n here. So, it will be the unique solution. So, now from here I can write then now we define T of u is equal to alpha 1 v 1 plus alpha 2 v 2 alpha n v n and you know that v 1 v 2 v 3 all are coming from the uh, from the vector space v. So, these are this one. So, now we define a transformation T of u that is equal to alpha 1 v 1 plus alpha 2 v 2. So, I claim that this is a linear transformation. So, I call it maybe 2. So, I define this as a linear transformation. So, I am taking T of u is equal to alpha 1. So, alpha is are coming from here and v 1 is the vector we have taken from the vector space v. So, let us do this one. So, I what I need to check. So, v need to check. So, of course, it is T is from u to v. So, what we need to check first one is T is a linear transformation. So, this we need to check and the second one is we need to check that T satisfies the condition T u i is equal to v i because this is what we have shown here that it can be determined if it has the image of each of the basis element of a basis of a vector space u. So, satisfy this condition and the third one is that T is unique. So, it should be unique. So, these things uh, we need to check. Now, the first one we can check that T is a linear transformation L T. So, this one we need to check. Now, for u I know that for any Uh, maybe I can take u dash. So, for any u dash belongs to u, 
we can write u dash is equal to suppose it is coming beta 1 u 1 plus beta 2 u 2 and beta n u n and this is true. So, this can be written as this one and this representation is unique that we know. Now, T of u plus u dash let us see what is going to happen. So, this can be written as T of u, u is alpha 1 u 1 plus alpha 2 u 2 alpha n u n plus beta 1 u 1 plus beta 2 u 2 beta n u n and spin, since this belongs to the vector space. So, I can write this as a alpha 1 plus beta 1 u 1 and I can write here alpha n plus beta n u n and this can be written as now these things we already seen that this is equal to alpha 1 plus beta 1 t of u 1 and alpha n plus beta n t of u n and from here I can separately I can write like this one. So, it can be written as I can write it as alpha 1 t of u 1 alpha n t of u n. So, I can write like this one plus beta 1 t of u 1 beta n t of u n and this one is again. So, I can write this as t of alpha 1 u 1 t of alpha n u n plus the same way I can write t of beta 1 u 1 because the linear transformation I have taken this one. So, T u is alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n where u have written like this one alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n. So, I am taking T of u plus u this is coming uh, like this one and this one I can write in this way from. So, this we have taken from the uh, equation 2 uh, this one using equation 2. And now, I am doing this one as alpha 1 t u because that belongs to the vector space v. So, this one and now I am going back from there. So, I can write this as a beta n t of beta n u n. So, here also I am uh, taking the help of the equation number 2 because alpha 1 t u 1 and this alpha n t u n. So, I am writing in this way and maybe from here I can write directly. So, after writing this one because to show that it is equal to uh, T u plus T v. So, from here I can write this one can be written as. So, it is if you see from here then it is equal to T u plus T v because I am writing here that alpha 1 v 1 plus alpha 2 v 2 some vector is there and this uh, is coming. So, T u 1 I am taking as a element from as a v 1 and this is I am taking as a v 2 or v n and then we are putting this value here. So, this becomes T u plus T v. Similarly, we can define T of alpha some u that can be easily written as alpha of T u 
now and also so it is a linear transformation also now we have a t of u is equal to alpha 1 v 1 alpha 2 v 2 alpha n v n. So, this thing is there now from here the how we are writing like this one I can show you that since u 1 t of u 1 can be written as now what are we going to happen here now we are defining this as a t of uh, u. So, this one I can write as t of maybe I can write as a t of u 1 plus 0 u 2 0 u 3 0 u n this one I can write like this and this one I know that this is equal to t of u 1 plus 0 t of u 2 that we have already know and this is equal to t of u n. Now, from here I can write this as because this is a 0 element. So, it will be t of u 1 and this if you see from here then this is same as v 1 because we have defined the linear transformation in this way that t of u is equal to alpha 1 v 1 and this alpha alpha 2 alpha n are coming from there. So, so from here I can say that my, um, my alpha 1 is 1, alpha 2 is 0 and all alpha these are the 0. So, from here it will I will left only with alpha 1 v 1 and that will be equal to t t u 1. So, it, it means that this is equal to v 1. So, the same concept will go similarly we can show that t of u i is equal to v i and this is true for all i from 1 to up to n. The same argument will work there. Similarly, I can define t of u 2. So, t of u 2 will be 0 u 1 plus u 2 plus all the other element 0 and then from here it will be that t u 2 is equal to v 2. So, this one we can uh, define like this from here. So, here we have defined this property and then we got this value. Now, so this condition is, is there that each of the basis elements should have a image in the vector space V like this one T u i is equal to V i. So, the third one is, so I want to show the third one is that the T is unique means if I have a set of bases and have a set of element that is V 1, V 2, V n then we can have a only unique linear transformation. So, T is unique means unique with respect to, to basis that is u 1, u 2, u n and, and the set v 1, v 2, v n such that t of u i is equal to v i. So, that if you change any of the thing condition then you will get another uh, transformation that we need to show that it is unique. So, th these things we can prove on contradiction that let S is, is a is another linear transformation such that 
S of ui is equal to vi. So, this I am taking the another linear transformation true for all i 1 2 up to n. So, this is I am taking. Now, from here I know that S of so for any u that will be S of I know that u can be written as a alpha 1 u 1 plus alpha 2 u 2 alpha n uh, u n now this can be written as alpha 1 s of u 1 alpha n s of u n. Now, alpha s of u i is equal to v i. So, I can write this as alpha 1 v 1 plus alpha 2 v 2 alpha n v n. This is what we have defined here. Now, if you see from here then this is equal to T of u and this is true for all u. So, which implies that S will be equal to T because this is true for all u whatever we have done taken that show gives you that S u is equal to T u for all u. So, from here I can say that S is equal to T and that gives you that T is unique. So, T will be unique. So, always we to define the linear transformation we need a set of bases in the uh, in the vector space u and then we need some vectors in v so that we can define a map like this one. So, suppose we have the knowledge of T u i is equal to v i and based on this knowledge I can define the linear transformation like this one and that linear transformation that transformation will be linear transformation and it will satisfy this condition and it will be unique. So, that way we can define the linear transformation. So, today uh, let me stop here today. So, in the uh, today's lecture we have started that how we can define a, a transformation linear transformation from a vector space u to a vector space v. So, in the next lecture we will uh, we will perform some examples that how we can find out the linear transformation based on the given basis given to us for a, a given vector space u. So, thanks for watching, uh, thanks very much.